Child of God, today I want to understand that there is nothing like an answered prayer in the spiritual world. Every prayer is answered. It is just because sometimes God answers your prayers the way you don't want him to answer. God will either give you a yes, God will either give you a no, or God will tell you to wait. All those are answers from God. Hello, child of God. Hello, brethren. Good morning. Good afternoon. Where you're watching me from. I hope and trust that you're well and God has kept you. My returning subscribers, welcome. My new subscribers, welcome. You're watching me for the first time. Welcome. Thank you so much for always coming back. Support this ministry. I don't take it for granted. My name is Truth. Here I share faith-based content. I motivate you. I inspire you through the word of God. And I also help women become better versions of themselves through the word of God. So if this sounds like a content I love to consume, then I'm also going to encourage you kindly support this ministry by subscribing to this content down below here and always put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you're always among the first people to be notified. And I'm also going to encourage you every time you visit this channel to always go back to your previous messages. And trust me, you're going to be motivated, you're going to be nourished and your life will never be the same again. Thank you so much for being here and I'm also going to encourage you to stay up to the end of our today's message today. Brethren, let me go straight to my message today. And today I want to talk about when God says no. Many times as children of God, as believers, we go in the presence of God through prayer and we expect God to answer our prayers. And sometimes we get disappointed, we get discouraged when God does not answer our prayers when we want him to answer them. Child of God, today I want you to understand in this message today, there is nothing like an answered prayer. When you go before God in petition, in prayer, either God will answer you yes, or God will answer you wait, or God will tell you no. So there is nothing like an answered prayer. God answers our prayers. It's just because sometimes God will answer our prayers the way we don't want him to answer, if that makes sense. But God answers every prayer. Every time we go before him, God answers our prayers. So in our today's message, I want us to focus when God tells you no. What do you do as a child of God when you go before the Lord and God tells you no? That is not my will. Child of God, I understand that many of us have damned our salvation. Many of us, you have forgotten the goodness of God. Many of us, you have left churches. Many of us, you have forsaken our fellowships. And many of us have forgotten about the salvation of Christ because God has told you, no, that is not my will. Child of God, today I want you to understand that sometimes when you go before the Lord, just know that God will either give you a yes, a no, or wait. Not every day that you go in the presence of God, God will always tell you yes. Sometimes he wants you to wait to protect you. Sometimes he'll give you an immediate answer. And sometimes God will tell you no. Because whatever you're telling God to do for you, it is not according to his purpose and his will. And many Christians, many believers don't want to hear anything like no from God. I know sometimes after prayer and fasting, you want God to answer you yes. You are expectant from God and you want God to give you a tick and give you a confirmation. But it's so disappointing when after prayer and fasting, God gives you clarity and God tells you no, that is not my will and that is not in alignment of my purpose for your life. And as a child of God, you are discouraged because that is not what you are expecting God to tell you after your prayer and fasting. Child of God, I want you to understand today, even you as a mother, as a father, sometimes you tend to tell your child no when the child is not going in the right direction. It is not every now and then you tell your child yes. Sometimes you are forced to tell your child no without an explanation. And most of the time when a child grows up and he's a grown up, he's able to understand, he'll now be able to understand why you are telling him no. So today I want you to know that sometimes God will answer your prayers the way you want him to answer. And sometimes God will put a break in your prayers because he has a better plan for you. And that's why today I want to focus 
when God tells you no. As a believer, as a child of God, what are you supposed to do when God tells you no? He has not given you a yes. God has not told you to wait. What do you do when God tells you no to your prayer? Child of God, I want to give you three scenarios in my life that you can relate to when God once upon a time told me no. And I'm forever grateful for that no because that was my next opportunity. When I was almost getting married and I was trying to sample relationship, I entered into a relationship with a certain guy. I kept on asking God about this relationship. Child of God, I almost got into a trap in this relationship. But when I kept on digging deeper in the word of God and asking God so many whys, God told me no. I know at that particular point it was very disappointing. I didn't know why God was telling me no to this relationship. I mean, I've been in this relationship for more than five years. But when I went into prayer and I asked God for clarity, God started revealing to me deeper things that I did not know. And God specifically told me no. Someone will ask, how did God tell you no? God speaks to people. And I've shared on this platform how God speaks to people. Sometimes God can speak to you verbally. You can hear sound. You can hear his voice. And sometimes God will speak to you through dreams. And God cut that relationship completely. As a human being, as a girl who is in love, I was disappointed. But right now when I look back in my life, God knew what he was doing. God had already seen what was to come and God put a stop in that relationship. That was my first encounter when God answered my prayers by telling me no. Because I look back right now and I see what I'm doing right now. God had a purpose for my life. And maybe God knew when I enter into this relationship, this person was not going to support my ministry or this person was not going to fulfill God's purpose in my life. Child of God, I look back and I'm forever grateful. The second encounter, I've had God clearly tell me no. It was during the pandemic. Many of you know very well what happened during the corona uh, season. People lost their businesses. People lost their jobs. And it happened I was among the people who were affected by the pandemic. I'm into events industry and I'm also an entrepreneur. I remember that is the season I had just bought a business and I really invested so much in that business. Trust me, child of God, it's not as easy as I'm saying it right now, but I lost most of my businesses and the business I had just invested in just before the pandemic, I lost it and I lost everything in that business. And I kept on asking God so many questions about that new business I just acquired. And God kept on telling me no. I kept on knocking the door. I kept on asking God, why did you allow me to invest so much money in this particular business when you knew very well the pandemic was coming. But God kept on telling me, don't push that door. I've already locked that door. But surprisingly, what happened after is beyond imagination. God opened seven more doors after the pandemic. So that is my second encounter when I encountered God telling me no. Stop pushing this door. I've locked this door because this door is not under my will and my purpose. The third personal experience I've also had God telling me no is that when I kept on praying and asking God to restore my mother's health, and I was trying to push that door and I was asking God, you are healer, you are Jehovah Rapha, heal my mother. But I remember God kept telling me, no, I've closed that door. I remember my mom passed on in December, but trust me, mid-October, God had already communicated to me and God told me, I've already closed that door of healing. Trust me. That's the time God told me it is done. Child of God, you can imagine how traumatizing and devastating can be. You have a patient and that patient is not just a patient. She's your mother and you are a child of God. You are declaring promises of God. You are praying for healing. And when you go into a secret place to pray, God tells you it is done. You know, it was very devastating. It was very annoying. It was very discouraging. And I knew very well it is done. My mom's work is finished on this earth 
and my mom is going to be healed internally. Child of God, there are just few of many examples in my life where God has told me no in prayer. Not every prayer you ask God, God is going to give you a yes in every prayer. Some of you are watching me right now. Maybe you have gone before God. You have brought your petition before God. You are asking God so many questions. You have cried to God to open that door, but the answer is just no. Anytime you keep knocking the door, God is just telling you no. You're watching me right now, and God is always shutting doors, and you don't know why God keeps on shutting doors on your way. You're watching me right now. You have a loved one who is ailing in the hospital, and you know very well you are a child of God. You serve a God who is the healer. You serve a God who is Jehovah Rapha. But anytime you keep on praying, God is just telling you no. And maybe the answer of no is death. You're praying for your loved one to get healed, but the answer you get is death, child of God. Today I want to encourage you right now. Not every prayer that you ask God, God is going to answer you the way you want him to answer. Sometimes God will answer you in his own way, in his own time, in his own understanding, in his own purpose. You can never understand the ways of God. Sometimes you might be praying God to push that door to open and God is telling you no, that door is not going to open. That is not my will and that is not my purpose. And we have so many examples in the word of God where God shut doors, where God told men and women of God no. A very good example is an example of David. In the book of First Chronicles 28, the word of God tells us David, one of Israel's king, and a man after God's own heart, asked God to build a temple, and God said no. It's a very good example. Another very good example you can relate to in the word of God, in the book of 2 Corinthians 12, verse 7 to 10, Paul, an author of books and also an author of most of the New Testament, begged God three times to remove a thorn piercing into him, and God said no. Another example I can relate to is in the book of Mark 14, verse 2 to verse 42, Jesus petitions for God to rid him of his suffering the night before he died on the cross, and God definitely said no. Most of us are enjoying the benefits of the cross. The salvation you and me are enjoying right now, the one of the benefits of the cross. So there are so many examples in the word of God where God told his people no. And sometimes when God tells you no, it's just another open door for another next opportunity. Many times I've heard believers say that God has not answered my prayers. Child of God, today I want to understand that there's nothing like an answered prayer in the spiritual world. Every prayer is answered. It is just because sometimes God answers your prayers the way you don't want him to answer. God will either give you a yes, God will either give you a no, or God will tell you to wait. All those are answers from God. Some of you are watching me right now. You're fighting battles that you've already lost. You're fighting doors that God has already locked. God is telling you, I've locked this door. Don't push this door. But you keep on pushing that door and God has locked that door. Some of you are fighting battles that are not your battles. Some of you are pushing doors that are not your doors. Some of you are fighting battles that are not your battles. Some of you are in relationship. You are holding on to that love so much. That is not your space. That is not your purpose. Some of you are holding into marriages that you're not supposed to be there. Some of you are holding to that love that you're not supposed to be there. Some of you are in relationship that God has already closed. Some of you are pushing doors to engagements that God has already closed. Child of God, today I'm here to tell you that hear God. Hear God from above. Open your ears and hear God. Open your spiritual understanding, child of God, and hear God. Listen to God. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. God is telling you do not engage into business. God is telling you do not engage into this business. And you go ahead and engage into that business. Yes, you prayed, you fasted, and you asked God for clarity. And when God shows you clarity and God tells you no, you go ahead and disobey the voice 
of the Holy Spirit. May God open our eyes, may God open our ears, and may God open our spiritual understanding. May God fill us with wisdom from above. Brethren, most of the times you are very selfish. We just want God to work our own way. We don't want to listen to the voice of God. God is telling you no, and you're still pushing that door. God is telling you no, and you're still claiming that door. God is telling you no, and you're still fighting that battle. God is telling you I've closed that door, and you're still pushing that door. Child of God, as I wind up this message right now, you may be watching me right now, and you have already asked God for clarity. You have prayed to God, and God has already given you an answer, and the answer is no. Child of God, today I'm here to encourage you, obey the Holy Spirit. Obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes God might be protecting you from something and God might be also preparing you for a bigger breakthrough that is ahead of you. So today I want to understand that in the spiritual world, there is nothing like an answered prayers. Every prayer is answered. God answers our prayers. It is just because most of us as believers, when God tells us no, we try to ignore the voice of the Holy Spirit. May God help us today, me and you. May God help us today, me and you. May God give us understanding from above. May God give us wisdom from above. May we learn to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Anytime we go before the Lord and we ask God for understanding, and when God gives us that understanding, may God give us the grace to obey Him. May God give us the grace to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. May we not live in our own understanding children of God may we lean in the understanding of God may we lean and align ourselves in the purpose of God for his own glory child of God I hope that you have learned something from this message today I pray that today may God give you understanding may God give you wisdom from above and anytime you go before God and ask God for clarity God will either answer your prayer God will give you a yes or God will give you a no or God will tell you wait so if God tells you no child of God obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. God has a purpose for you and God has a good future for you. When he tells you no, trust me, he has a better plan for you for his own glory. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have learned something from this message today. I hope that God will keep on giving you understanding and wisdom from above. Thank you for being here and I'm also going to encourage you to share this video to your network and also like this video. When you like these messages, they really support this channel and they also support this ministry to the glory and honor of God. Remember also to support this ministry by hitting the subscription button and also put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you're always among the first people to be notified. I'm going to see you next time in the next video and thank you so much for being here. Goodbye for now and God bless you.